can't believe this. Some Mr. Arakeen calls you and tells you he has the answers to your project. A project that you have been working on for years. And now, all of a sudden, you're going off into the wilderness, God knows where. Am I missing something? I mean, you have to help me out, otherwise... Jack! You don't even know this person. And this could be some prankster setting you up. Do you understand now why I have to go? All of these people are missing. Some have been missing for decades, and none of them have been accounted for. We've all been searching for this mirror that most refuse to accept exists. They all knew there was something out there. You're the fifth mythology professor working on this project. I mean, they've all disappeared from the project, literally. And God knows where the last two are. Yeah, but they don't have the lead that I have. This, this isn't just some old mirror. It, it's special. What is so special about it? It seems like you're chasing ghosts. I, I don't even understand why this project has been funded for as long as it has. I, I'm sensing you have a problem with all this. Damn right I do. Hey Jack, what if this is... What if, what if we all thought the same way? Where would we be? Yeah, very bright men and women have spent their entire lives searching reality when all there is is fantasy. And that's what mythology is all about, isn't it? You're one of them. That's why you're here, right? I'm here for the theory and the research. But I keep things in perspective. And apparently so does the funding board. What do you mean? Came from Dr. Gleason's office. I'm sorry. They're planning on shutting down my research? They can't do that! Yes, they can, and they will. Unless you come up with some real answers, soon, before they make their final decision. Let me go with you. If there's anything to be found, then we'll find it together. That's, that's not a good idea. I need you to stay here and take care of the office. I'm worried. Look, I don't want some other professor showing me pictures of missing expeditions with your face on it. I have to go. Oh. I forgot to... Oh. Hey, there's no reason for this. Okay? I'll be fine, I promise. I have a really bad gut feeling about this, and I just can't stop worrying. Promise me. I have to go. Now, remember to... Call the board and tell them you'll meet with them as soon as you get back. And if Stephen calls, have him meet you at your apartment. Anything else, Dr. Bruschi? Hold down the fort till I get back.
Dr. Perucci. How are you? Mr. Kale. Call me Kale. I was expecting you. You got the mirror? Of course I do. It's inside. Okay, well, I don't want to get back too late, so why don't we do this here, now? Well, Dr. Perucci, Jack if I may, it would be not too hospitable if I did not invite you to get something to eat after such a long journey. Please join me for dinner, and we can talk about the mirror inside. All right, I'll be right back. Please accept my apologies for this inconvenience. Let's have a seat, please. Let's eat. Nana? So, Dr. Perucci, I don't understand why they call this a mirror. It certainly doesn't look like one. It's called a mirror because it is a primitive vessel that preserves. It's said that this mirror is an instrument that envelops electromagnetic wavelengths, and there's much history behind it that's of interest to me. And that's why you are the expert. What I'm telling you is only the results of many who have studied it, and those who have had close contact with it at some point. And why so interested in this mirror? It seems to be old and useless, and it looks like a clock. It's not a clock. Each numeral represents the 12 signs of the zodiac. Sorry for her behavior. She doesn't speak much. You're free to look at anything you might like. Thank you. That's, that's very generous of you. And thanks for the meal. So you are the professor Arakahim has been speaking about who was interested in purchasing this mirror before I sent it to auction. Yes, I am. Dr. Perucci, we went through a lot of effort to find this mural. How much are we talking about? Well, this is a very ornate and exquisite antiquity. We would not want it to fall in the wrong hands now, would we? What's your price? Five thousand dollars, and it's yours. Two, four, three, done. And one more thing. You stay the night. May I ask why? So I may package the mirror properly for you. You can leave early in the morning, and you can pay me then. I'm sorry, but I have other pressing matters to attend to. Remind me how bad do you want this mirror? You can stay here overnight. My Nana will show you to your room. Nana! Please show Dr. Perucci to his quarters. Guess I have no choice. Have a good night, Jack. Sleep tight.
dearest here? You must go now. Come with me. You must go now. Jesus, she's been dead. You must go
I was just wondering how to get rid of you. As you might have figured out, I have absolutely no intentions of giving you this mirror. So what's your plan? Kill me and feed my blood to the mirror? How clever. That's precisely what I had in mind. Not in that order. She does need you alive. So all this can work well. Well, Dr. Kush, I guess here is where we say goodbye. What are you gonna do now, Kale? I want to spoil the surprise for you. Is this what you do to all your buyers? No. The mirror does it for me. Thanks to our like he, he brought you to us. You were led here, Dr. Pooch. This was no coincidence. of her rage and her venom. You won't get away with this, Kale. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. You would make a nice addition to my stone collection out back. Yes, you will. I hereby Show your presence, Medusa. I hereby invoke your presence, O Tempter Medusa. Any final words, Dr. Sumuchi?
Please, Lana, someone might see us. So, it's finally here. I know, I can't stop thinking about it. I've been looking for it for the longest time and now I finally have it. So where is it? It's sitting in the basement of my building. Well, what's it doing there? Well, I wanted to inspect it myself before bringing it here. So, you and I should go for a drink and celebrate. Um, I'm sorry, I, I can't. Per perhaps another time? Yeah, some other time. It's getting late. I'm gonna get going. It's been... I'll walk you home. No, it's Jack. <laughs> I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. It's fine. I, I was just trying to be a gentleman. Okay. I'll wait for you outside. Jack. I'm really glad you're back. By the way, make sure you send those emails to that Oren guy before the radio show. Why is that mirror so important to you? It is the key to my research, an antiquity. So, what about other things? What other things? You know, there's more to life than just research. Thank you for walking me back. I was very gentleman of you. Of course. <laughs> Do you want to come in? I don't think that's a good idea. So I have to get up early tomorrow. Have a good night then. Good night. Oh, Jack, I almost forgot. Steven said he would meet you tomorrow at your apartment. He seems really excited about seeing you. See you tomorrow. Bye. My maid gets really superstitious, so she put it oh. down there. Yeah, people see something old and rare. And they... Oh, you all right? I could have sworn it. Never mind. Well, you know, people see something old and rare, and they just, you know, think it's cursed or something. You know, oh, well, it's got to have hold that some sort of. That's the stand. Yeah. Huh. different. Come on, huh. let's put it over here. Yeah, you were, uh, you were gone so long, you know, I didn't, I didn't, just to get a mirror. 
It's quite the trip. I didn't know if you were going to come back. But, uh, it's good to have you back. It's good to be back. Had to be a nice break from just teaching classes and Greek mythology and anthropology and all that stuff. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Nice break. I need to have one of those myself. There, how about that? Wow. Amazing. How about a beer? Yeah, I thought you would never ask. <laughs> so what are you going to do now, now that you're back? I need to do some research on this mirror here. See what it can do. I need to take a break too. I need to take a vacation. How was it up there? You know, I don't remember too much of it. You know, it's, Oh, really? Like I told you. A little too much of this? <laughs> I, I hope not. I don't think mm. so. I think I'm not about worn out. I'm gonna head off. All right. Uh, thanks for the beer. Yeah, thanks for coming over, man. My pleasure. Oh, uh, racquetball? Same time? Yeah, same time. All right. You're mine now. Jack, Stephen's waiting for you at the racquetball court. He's wondering what happened. Tell him I'm on my way. Okay, but don't forget you also have a staff meeting this afternoon. So as you can see, gentlemen, the zodiac is intrinsically connected with the alignment of the stars. The diamond of the deities has the ability to invoke the powers of the gods. The gods ruling the four sides of the universe. Water, sun, earth, and heaven. And in ancient times, it was also used to counteract evil forces. I found what we've been looking for. Yeah, well, this is quite an accomplishment, Dr. Ferrucci. I'll be honest with you, we were, uh... We're getting worried about the future of this project as well as the department. We've made great strides on this project, and not to mention we've invested a big chunk of our, of our budget into this. Dr. Ferrucci, where is this all supposed to be leading to? It's all supposed to lead to the unraveling of the mystery of Medusa. This artifact, also known as the mirror, is said to have been made by ancient civilizations to host the spirit of the temptress Medusa. Perseus presented the, the King of Sister Island with the head of Medusa as a present. He then commissioned the Greek sorcerer Cornelius to build some sort of a talisman to house her remains. This artifact, this mirror, is that talisman that many expeditions have been looking for. And how is it that they didn't find it and that you did? Isn't it a bit peculiar that all of these adventurers have vanished, yet you were able to find it and come back? The best answer that I've been able to come up with is that I've read and learned from their mistakes. 
I learned what not to do. Those that did come into contact previously with this mirror tried to use it for their own personal gain and greed. And that left their souls exposed to be confiscated by this talisman. Well, when will you have a chance to, uh, to see this talisman? Soon, very soon. I just need a little bit more time to complete my research. Dr. Prucci, this is the longest running project this institution has uh, ever been involved with. And, and frankly, uh, the board is running out of patience, as well as money, considering the economic times we're in. We have the mirror, and we can't stop now. I mean, we're so close. Jack, how many more weeks do you need? Just four more weeks. That's all I need. Gentlemen, you know Dr. Perucci has been working on this for a very long time now. I don't think four more weeks will break us. As long as he understands, this is absolutely the last extension. I completely understand, Dr. Bograff, and I will deliver results. I can assure you of that. All right. I see no reason why we should not uh, give him four more weeks. Does anybody oppose that? Jack, you have your four weeks. Thank you, and I will not disappoint you. How'd it go? How'd it go? They gave me four more weeks. Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, don't forget, you have a meeting uh, for lunch with Stephen this afternoon. Anything else? No, that's it. Jack, things are really starting to work out for you. I know. It's about time. Is that enough time? Barely. They want to see my full report. And the discovery sooner rather than later. And you honestly believe that this is the mirror from the myth? Positive. Not only does all my research point towards it, I have a gut feeling about this one. But you yourself said you can't even remember what happened during your trip. Now come on, Jack. I'm going to play devil's advocate here, but do you honestly believe in the myth of Medusa? That's why they call it a myth. I mean, it's prefabricated history. Fiction. It's not real. Here we go again. Can't you just give me the benefit of the doubt? At least until you see what this mirror can do? I mean, look, I, I don't want to jump to any conclusions without seeing results first, but... What about that guy that tried to kill me? What, what do you think of oh. that? I'm some lunatic after your money. Hey. There is madness everywhere. But for him to make excuses for his own human brutality under the guise of some gorgon or evil spirit living inside some mirror, talisman, or whatever you want to call it, is ludicrous. I take it you're a non-believer then. Yeah. You bet I am. I don't believe in anything I can't see. So, uh, how do you explain God? God is something people have created to give their life meaning. Yeah, but nobody has seen them and they still believe. I just think we have enough non-supernatural violence as it is. I mean, people all over the world are killing each other. And it isn't because of evil spirits. It's because some people are just plain evil. They're just born bad. So, how do you explain last night? You're just tired, that's all. No. That was as real as you sitting here eating. Well, if it continues, stop by my office. I think you've been working too hard. Get some rest. The time. I've got an appointment. Thanks for lunch.
have six messages. Check. Staff meeting. Don't forget. Yesterday, I tried calling you. Are you sick? I mean, do you want me to get you something? I'm fine. How did you get in here? With a spare key. I knew you kept one underneath your desk. Anyways, someone's here to see. Lana called me. I thought something had happened. I mean, what's going on? Can we get you something? Should, should I call a doctor? No, oh, I'm fine. I just feel a little bit out of the weather. Are you sure? Yeah. We should just leave him to rest. Wait. Lana, uh, can you give me and Steven? Yeah. I'll be outside. They're real. I saw this woman. No. Have you ever had a near-death experience? No. I can't say that I have. But I'm sure you've heard what it's like, right? You see the light. Yes. That's, that's what I saw. No, the white light. What was it like? Oh. Well, at first I had this overwhelming sense of serenity, but then... You're, 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 you're burning up. I'm calling a doctor. Wait! No doctors. I'll just take some aspirin. I'll be fine. Jack, you're hallucinating. You're, you're talking nonsense. I'll be right back. Hey, how's it going? It doesn't look good. What do you mean? Uh, he's delusional. It's hallucinating. It's making absolutely no sense. What are we gonna do? Let's call the hospital. No, 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 no. Let's not rush into that. Why? He doesn't want it. I'm to referring to his mental state. I should have never let him go on that trip. Come on, let's go inside. Saw that. See what? See what? Here, there was blood everywhere. 
Oh, uh, no, not Jack, at all. We were outside and came it? in as soon as we heard your scream. It's okay. It's just a bad dream. It's just a bad dream. It's okay. Tell me you believe me. Has it been like this for a long? Yeah, a couple days. And it keeps getting worse. Jack? Jack? Hey, I brought you some soup. Here, just put it over there. What time is it? It's about 12 noon. Who are you? Okay, you it's keep Dr. getting worse. Ritchie. I'm Dr. Moss, and I'm here to examine you. I said no well, damn doctors! I'm just I don't need a doctor! Yeah, I calm down. Doctor, listen Jack, to me, okay. listen to me. Just, stay calm, Jack, stay calm, 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 calm down! Calm down, calm down! Calm down! Hold it! You need help! I need my bed. help! I don't need a damn doctor! Jack, just relax! For your own good, just relax! You can get better! Calm down! It's for your own good. I love her. What? What? Who do you love? Medusa. Is he allergic to any medication? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Here we go. Make sure he takes two every eight hours. And I would also recommend him seeing a psychiatrist for any possible mental breakdowns. Uh, I'm a psychologist. I can help him out with that. Okay, but if his condition worsens, you have to take him to the hospital. Okay. Of course, Doctor. Thank you. Is he going to be okay? He's going to be fine. I gave him a sedative, so he should be fine in a couple of hours. He just needs rest. Get some sleep, I'll stay. No. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. Thank you so much.
on, man. Help me out of here. Come on, we gotta go. Steven, what are you doing? We gotta go to my place. Why? Because... What about the mirror? The mirror's the reason I almost got killed in the bathroom. My cat! Cats are survivors. Her eyes and tongue were partially severed. In ancient culture, women and children were, were used as offerings to the deities. I know you've never done this before, but I'm a professional. On that painting on the wall, I want you to pick two dots, one above, one below. When I say inhale, I want you to focus on the top dot. When I say exhale, you're going to look at the dot below, understand? So, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Who are you? Continue this tomorrow. But I think it would be best if you stayed. Just, just stayed here. He just doesn't seem himself. Yeah, exactly. That's what. Uh, um, Chris, I'll give you a call. How'd it go? Not good. What did you find? Good question. I, I wish I knew myself. But whatever he found, I think he's hiding it from me. Well, why would he do that? I, I don't know. Okay, well, uh, Grace and I are gonna go to lunch. Would you like to go? Thanks, but I think I'll pass. I, I gotta catch up on work here. You know if you need anything. Uh... You'll be the first to know. So are you going to go back to Stevens? No, there, there's no need. I'll be fine. Yeah, but I mean... I'll I... be fine. Sit.
say a little bit of grace for me. I did consult with uh, some of your colleagues on this situation. I didn't tell them who you were, but I did tell them what you were called the last time I hypnotized you. I also did a little research of my own. What you recounted happened hundreds of years ago. If it happened. It was as if... As if what? Do you believe in reincarnation? What? You're kidding. What you're telling me is that what's been happening is because of who I was? I thought you didn't believe in that kind of stuff. Well, let's consider it a possibility. I mean, recently, stranger things have happened. Steve, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, you know what I do, right? Mm -hmm. I've based my entire life off of uncovering the unknown. I don't consider myself evidence of that. Everything that has happened to you has happened since you brought that mirror from the cabin. Right? Okay. So let's assume that this spirit trapped inside this mirror is trying to communicate with you or something within you that is attracting the spirit or demon or whatever you want to call it. Are you still skeptical about all this? Uh, let's just say I'm evolving. Whatever it is, you are a magnet for it. Or you just have something that it wants. What you're telling me? Is that my past life has come back to haunt me? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I need to figure out what's causing these nightmares. I can't take this anymore, Steve. I think I want to see the satchel. Why? Well, I, I think it could answer a lot of our questions. Ready? Okay. You know the drill. Pick two dots on the painting. And relax. Relax. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Where are you? I'm walking through the woods. Do you see a cabin? There is no cabin, only blood. What else do you see? What are you doing here? I'm just getting some books for Jack. So what'd you find out? It's worse than I thought. What do you mean? Well, you know that cabin where Jack went to pick up the mirror? Yeah. It's infested by Medusa. I think she has him under her spell. And the only way to break that spell is to bring the mirror back to the cabin. 
the mirror back to the cat. Are you crazy? No. 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 There's no way. Lana, 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 listen to me. He's only going to get worse. And if we don't do something quick, he's going to... He's going to die. Just like that guy who tried to kill him. What can we do? We can't do anything. Jack is the last of the bloodline of her killer, Perseus. Only he can destroy her. That's why the mirror sought him out. But why go back there? I mean, we can't go back there. The cabin is now a portal to the afterlife, Hades. Don't you see? Medusa sought him out the whole time. Jack's the last of the bloodline of Zeus himself, and she plans to use that bloodline to enter our world. And you got all of this from hypnotizing him? Ah, uh, after connecting the dots and reading up a lot on the myth. <sighs> she plans on the eve of the next celestial event to sacrifice him, just like she did that Kale guy. You know, the one that, that Jack said the mirror blew up? I don't understand. She could have killed him. Why hasn't she killed him? She needs him alive long enough, just long enough to enter our world. She plans to use his body for that mirror and use his blood to enter our world. Lana, if you have any influence over him, now's the time to use it. I, I can't do this alone. I'm gonna need your help. Hey. Gosh. We need like an intervention. Any suggestions? His birthday's coming up. We could throw him a surprise birthday party. And with all of us together, then we could try and convince him to go back and just walk away from all of this. I don't know what he's gonna think about that, but it's worth a shot. No, it's great. I'll have you distract him while I prepare the apartment. I just want it to be really special for him. You know that mirror's at the apartment. That's exactly why we have to do it at the apartment. I don't think you should be there. I don't think you should be there, or anyone for that matter. But we have no better options. And I suppose there's strength in numbers. I'll be fine. Just, oh, I just want this all to be over with. You're gonna be there though, right? I mean, you'll be able to protect us. Yeah, sure, why not? Count me in. <laughs> Great. Lana, be careful. I'll keep you informed. Please do. Steven. Yeah. Are you all right? You just seem a little distant. That's all. Yeah, I'm just tired. Jack keeping you up at night? Something like that. I gotta get going. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Okay. Jack? Jack, are you home? Come in, it's open. Hey, Stephen told me to get to have you get a hold of him at once. Also, I stopped by the house. I almost forgot to get this to you. You remember the grant you applied for? See for yourself. This is great. It looks like you won't have to quit your research after all. How did you know? The office call. Let's go celebrate. I can't. I have to meet Stephen. It's important. Okay, well, that's all right. Maybe another time. I could use a ride there, though. I'm ready if you are. Get two things. I'll meet you outside. Jack! Jack! Hey! Hey man! Wake up! Wake up! I've got to go back there! You were right! You were all right all along! It's another time, another place! I'm in there! She's, it's me she's after! I'm not doing this anymore. Thank <laughs> you.
Steven? Don't you worry, Dr. Perucci. You'll be just fine. that you insist on coming back to this haunted apartment. Love works through you in mysterious ways. I know. <laughs> How do you think he'd feel if he knew you were here? Oh, he'd have a fit, <laughs> especially since I skipped work. <laughs> I need some tape. Oh, here. Oh, that's not You're kidding, right? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Here's more. Ah. There you go. Thank you. Just <laughs> give me the whole one. <laughs> Working harder, you're hardly working. Both. Care to join me? No, no thanks. I've got enough paperwork of my own. No, I was referring to the drink. <laughs> What's this all about? It's over. Dear Dr. Pershy, we regret to inform you the board has decided to terminate your project due to budget cuts. Just after I got approved for a grant. All that work for nothing. Oh look, I mean it, it says here, we will however consider a probationary period of reinstatement if you can validate your claim that the mirror is in fact linked to the myth of Medusa. You still got a chance. I can't. I mean, what can I do? I can't go to the board and tell them that I've been having like nightmares and, and all this other stuff's been happening because of this mirror. I mean, how would that look to you? They think I'm nuts. Like you're nuts. I have to present to the board tomorrow. I think that they should see what that mirror can do. You're right. Well, I'm leaving. You ready to go? No, I'm gonna stay here for the night. I've got too much to catch up on. You're sure you want to stay here by yourself with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. I, I don't want to cause any more troubles. You're good to me. All right. Uh, but just a 
little bit. Loop here. <sighs> Thank you so much. It's all so nervous. Hello? Hey! Yeah, sorry. <laughs> God, it's quick so good. That's great. Thank you so much. Awesome, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Is that Steve? Yeah. He's looking out for Jack for us. Good. I can't believe it's gonna be just a couple of hours and then it's the eve of his birthday. You really like him, don't you? Yeah. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. It's gonna be a success. Thank you, Grace. Is it too much? No! Are you kidding me? This can never be too much. It's okay, Henry, come in. Lana called and uh, she told me to tell you that she has a private matter to attend to, so she'll be gone for the rest of the day. Okay, thank you, Henry. Uh, you look awfully tired. Can I get you anything? Coffee, tea, uh, water? Uh, no, I'll, I'll be fine. Um. What time is my meeting with the board? One o'clock, sir. Okay. Um...
I I'm gonna freshen up if, uh, if anyone calls, just take a message. Is there anything else? Um, I know that tomorrow is your big day, so uh, I wanted to be the first to wish you happy birthday, sir. Thank you, Henry. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah. We're out of tape, tape, though. Oh, really? We gotta put this one last. Well, I guess we could just. Is there any over on this? Oops, sorry. That's no. Okay. <laughs> No, I have some in the car. You do? Yep. I run awesome. Some. Thank you. Yeah, I think we should just fix this last. This last book. Then I'll be done. Grace, you don't have to knock. It should be unlocked. Just come on in. I just think this one last part needs the, just a little bit of tape for it. There. Orin. What, how did you find me? Forgive me. I called your office. They told me I could find you here. Oh, that's a, it's fine. What's going on? This mirror you've been talking about? Yeah. I know all about it and your friend and his predicament. Tonight at midnight, there's going to be an astro event and a full moon. When, when is your friend's birthday? It's tomorrow, but we're celebrating it tonight. So, so midnight tonight is his official birthday? Yes, why? Okay. You and your friend, you're in grave danger. What? I, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you'll have to explain. But you're playing a very fucking dangerous game. Okay. Do you understand? I, I don't. If you explain it, that might help a little bit. But you're scaring me right now, okay? You, you should be scared, all right? Now listen, there, the, there's an alignment of the planets and, and, and Medusa is going to, is going to find her way into this friend of yours' dreams. He's going to seduce her. She's going to seduce him. Okay? And then there's going to be no way out in reality. So she's seeking revenge through him? Yes, it's like an ancient, it's like an ancient grudge. I, okay, I don't understand. Why? Okay, so what, what does this have to do with Jack? His ancestors decapitated. I don't know. That's my best guess. So, she's seeking revenge through him? Something like that. Well, what do we do to stop it? That's what I'm There's trying to get at. There's nothing you can do to stop it. This is a Gorgon. This is Medusa. Okay, this is just crazy. Understand? Why all of a sudden are you coming in here and No, this is not all of a sudden. This, this is my passion. This is... Do you understand? Yeah. There's nothing more that I would like than to see Medusa resurrected. Truthfully. I've been studying this my whole life, but I have a conscience and I'm here to help you. And if your friend, Jack, is the chosen one, then he is in danger, okay? And everybody around him is in danger. Because she's using him as a vessel? She wants to reincarnate, okay? She has picked him. Okay, so I... What do I do? I mean, how do we stop there's it? There's nothing you can do. The only, there, there's one thing. There's one thing you can do. You find him. And you get him to take that, that mirror back to where he found it. Because there's just one, there's only one item. There's one thing that can protect him. And it's the, it's the diamond of the deities. And it's mine. Okay? The diamond of the deities? Yes. Okay, well, I, I he's at the university. Okay, with... all right. <clears throat> how do I... You stay here. I'm gonna to go to the university. I'm gonna find him. If I don't find him, then then we should all meet back here before midnight because it's gonna be the only way to save him. Do you understand me? I, I guess, yeah. You're gonna go find the mirror. I'm gonna find the mirror. And him. And then if not, we're meeting back here. We'll meet back here before midnight. Okay, just be careful. Stay here. Sorry, Grace. What do you think? I missed a lot. Do you remember him? I wouldn't listen to a word he says. He's creepy. Okay. Was the adjust there? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you for giving the tape. I don't I don't know where to begin. So, Oren, the guy from the TV radio show, 
comes in the door the minute you leave. And here I thought it was you. So there I am just talking to myself and all of a sudden he's like, ah, in my face. Uh, girl, you missed a ton on the tape run. Let me tell you. Uh, Help me get this and I promise I'll be able to explain I'm so nervous. a little bit better. Gorgons were the fallen angels of the gods, even though they are not considered deities. They possess powers that will alter the human state of mind. Their force is considered dark and deadly. Medusa may repossess a mortal's body, provided there is a gateway or source to channel her from beyond. Increasing cloudiness tomorrow, sticky and humid with a high of 96. With the winds out of the east at 14 miles per hour, it's currently 75 degrees. The forecast, plenty of sunshine through today with... She must seduce a mortal to personify. That will be the key to her new life. On that day, there will be a full moon. We'll also be having a full moon tonight, so for you hopeless romantics out there, the Gorgon will only incarnate at midnight of the mortal's birthday when all the planets align simultaneously, thus creating a celestial event. Shit. Henry? Yes, sir? Uh, is the mirror in the boardroom? Uh, yes. Okay, good. Uh, listen, I'm gonna be in meetings all day. If, if Lana calls, tell her to, um, leave a number where I can reach her. I've tried her cell and, and she hasn't answered. Okay, I will. And, uh, tell her that if it's important to, uh, call myself. Okay. Research. Uh, no, uh, Dr. Perushi uh, just stepped out. No, 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 he, he won't be coming back for the rest of the day. May I take a message? <laughs> yes, Dr. Craig, I will let him know that you called. You're very welcome. Bye. Hello? Lana. Steve, you're cutting out. I can hardly hear you. Lana, it's Steve. Hello? Stop it. Get out of the apartment right now. Steve, can you just call me back? Hello? Hello? Well, Doctor, it looks like the subject of your research is giving you a bit of problems here. I knew it from the beginning. There's no need to explain. This has been a total and complete waste of university money. Now, now, hold on. I'm sure there's a logical explanation here. Jack, what's going on? I don't know what happened. It's, it's reacted every time around me. I can't believe we've spent all this money on this project. Gentlemen, I think we've seen enough. More than enough. I'm truly sorry. Oh, you will be. I'll see to it.
Well, Jack, you, you did your best. You know, science is all about trial and error, and you, know, you gave it a good try. Dr. Gleason, I'm really sorry. You know, I, I believe that you believe in what you're doing. Look, give me another chance to explain. Explain what? This is it. They were here. You missed it. Come to my apartment tonight. All the activity that's happened since I got this mirror has happened there. Jack, come on. Maybe we should have had the meeting in your apartment. I'm sorry. Happy birthday, boss. Thanks, but I'm really not feeling well. What? what? What's wrong? Are you okay? Look, I really appreciate all this, but I'd really just rather be alone tonight. <laughs> but, Jack. <laughs> Sorry, Grace. I want to know what's going on. Please leave, both of you. Come on, I think we should go. You want me, don't you? Well, come and get me. I'm right here.
It's not Jack. Orin, help me. Stay with it. I'm gonna need you for this. She wants me. If you would just let me go, so it would all be uh, over. Come on, we're in this together.
I think she's dead. Yeah, well, I told you you should have just gone home. Yeah, don't buy any more old junk off any creepy weirdos, okay? What junk? You know what I mean. <laughs>